Yeah, so um, I'm the producer of 20 Seconds Too Late. Um, it's been a great shoot so far. Basically, um, the aim of this film is to uh, really put the spotlight on domestic violence. Yeah, I'm gonna hit yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I'm gonna do. Um, it's something that is sort of a universal issue. You fucking bitch! So far, the shoot's been going pretty well, I think. Um, despite having some fucking retard for a director, I mean, but otherwise, yeah, no, no, it's been, it's, it's, it's been pretty good. It's in all of us, I mean, it's something that, you know, if we haven't experienced ourselves, maybe um, we, we know somebody who, who has, and yeah, so that's why we're making this film. Roller. C2 asshole, take one. Nick, minute. I'm coming. So what, are you about, so what are you reckon about girls in general, man? Oh, mate, they're alright, you know, not my cup of tea, as you probably could tell, you know, but it's... It's taken a while. You get you get one. It's like yeah, being an absolute cunt, and then they just fuck it for you. Know? The emotional charge that we've been getting from the actors has been great. Um, the building up, um, and I suppose putting them in that that situation where they really felt like they were victims of abuse. My vision was. To the best way that I could get the response from the actors was to actually start abusing them. So I don't know it was me, but I'll sneak into their house with a bandana on every night beforehand, and you know just just abuse them that 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 little bit. And I think I think that really shows, and I think they've really gotten a benefit out of that. I mean, all all their their work was very believable, um, and, and coming from a place of truth, which I think is, is really important. Didn't your mother tell you not to get into cars with strangers? How did you get your ideas to your production team so they could have the same focus and vision that you had? Was it like through storyboards or was it just um, subconsciously in their sleep? You yeah, no, well, there were a lot of storyboards, um, that sort of thing. Uh, another thing that I liked to do was um, we'd all just uh, go down um, cruising through the valley at night and what I'd do is we'd all run out and just start beating up a prostitute. And then that way they could get first-hand experience on what, you know, the effects that it has on people. And then we'd obviously, we'd visit that prostitute in hospital and then once again when she was back at work later um, to, to, you know, to see how, how it affected her. I've got a great heart. Yeah, I mean, everything. For this production, what I want is for people to know that, you know, violence and, and abuse is wrong. Scene one, ejaculate, take two. What are so you doing? Apparently today I've got to run somebody over. Is this through um, NIFA's public indemnity insurance? Yeah, absolutely. So they're going to pay for his hospital fees. Um, Steve Pratt, Steve Pratt personally has guaranteed yeah, this. Yes, he's okay that. Um, he said it was fine. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're just going to run somebody over. Brilliant. And pretty much anyone else who gets in the way as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I do the whole thing? hand, his hand. You're meant to be making tea, Brian. So one down, one to go. I'll make sure I hit this next guy harder. Yeah, the hardest scene for me to connect to emotionally, um, well, and and to sort of to stay disconnected, uh, was. It's funny you say the hardest thing because that was actually kind of the problem. Um, I found it really difficult to try to hide my boner. I mean. Just when they're yelling at each other and oh, it, it, it got me hot. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, sorry, sorry, what was the question? And this is that person in front of you. Don't look up yet. The person in front of you is this person that pisses you off. They're standing right in front of you. Now slowly, look up at the person, look straight into their eyes, and keep that eye contact, and tell them exactly what it is that you want to tell them. The thing that you've been waiting so long to tell them that you couldn't, just fucking say that to them. I hate you so much. You're so I fucking you fake. You're me. so fake. I you fucking you. ruined my life. I, I fucking hate you. Stop it. You've never been there. You've never been like there. Why would you always like that to me? Why would you do that? How? Yeah. See, did Brian take one? <laughs> There's no sex like angry sex. 
I think, I think her and I might have to go do something a bit later, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. You're doing this for the angry sex. I'm doing it for the angry sex, exactly. It's not the acting, it's the, it's the pussy I'll get later on from it, you know? You know? The audience who are targeting. Um, well, like I said, it's very universal, but I suppose the people that are currently going through one of these sort of situations, I mean, whether it be the person who's doing the abusing, maybe not realizing what they're doing, hopefully we can get them to stop. Um, otherwise, the people who are, who are caught in this and just saying, you know, we, he's gonna change, he's gonna change, or she's gonna change, she's gonna change, but, um, you know, sometimes you need to come to the realization that's not always the case. Oh, I'm fucking dead, bro. Yeah. Absolutely dead. Do you look white as a ghost? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, cunt. <laughs> jealous, type. <laughs> I'm a little bit jealous. Um, I'm a bit of a fan of the dick flick. When do I see it? Because um, it's not a chick flick. No, it's for guys. It's dick a dick flick. And I'm it's kind of like I can flick the bean, but somebody's doing it for me. Yeah. It's like the giggle yeah. pin. Yeah. I don't like it. I like it a um, lot. Yeah, I'd just like to thank um, the actors uh, for their amazing work on this. Um, they, they, they really went above and beyond um, and the crew constantly going out of their way to make this production probably the best production we've seen in years I mean I, I honestly don't think that anything like this has come out since probably ET and then open your heart I want to hug when I was in when I was in primary school I had this um, a running uh, with the deputy the deputy principal. There was um, some sexual activity, and basically, he said that I never should have done that to him. Seen two cock ring, take one. Yeah, I mean, this whole project. I think it, it really just it really just shows that when you have passion. And, and when you know something needs to be done for, for the community, for society, that, you know, you can come together and, and, and make it happen. I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with, with the results that we got from this film, and I, I'm sure the audience will agree. And, um, yeah, just, just a message for anybody out there who, who may be involved in this kind of, kind of um, domestic abuse. Uh, it, it's never too late to have them beaten and murdered. Um, you know what I mean? Just run them over in your car. Fuck those pieces of shit. This is uh, Peg Leg Peaks signing out for Poo Stain Productions. Um, get that in your pipe and smoke it. You know I'm amazing.